Well, good morning, Homestead family. Today's video, we're going to be talking about preparing your container garden for the new growing season. We'll be right back after the break. Just want to go over a couple of small details with you to help you out. Be back in a minute. <music> Well, welcome back, friends. It's been about six years since I had to uh, replace my containers in my container garden, and uh, I'm going to be doing that today. I'm getting started on it anyway. <laughs> but I just wanted to uh, just touch base with you because we get a lot of questions on our channel about, do, you know, what kind of buckets do I use? Do I have to drill a hole in them? All that kind of stuff. And I've gone over it, you know, every now and then on a video, but I think it might be helpful if we just put it all on one video and maybe just help you get your feet off and running and hit, hit, uh, hit the ground running for uh, the next growing season. This is um, a five gallon bucket, and I, I bought these at Lowe's, and you can buy these any old where. I mean, just check, check around online, you can order them. I actually ordered mine online and had them delivered here, which made it easy for me. But anyway, I use five gallon buckets quite often, and I also use two gallon buckets. And um, there's some two gallons right here. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in them. Well, here's the two gallon, and here's the five gallon. You can see, you know, half is not even half as big. But I use these on a lot of lettuces. These, these are great in my lettuce uh, garden, and these are I use for uh, things that are a little bit bigger than lettuce that are going to have a little bit bigger bigger root system. So I go with the the five gallon cabbages and things like that, broccoli, you know, something that's got a bigger root ball. Anyway, this is the bucket. Now, when you use a bucket, you want to be sure that it is a food grade bucket. And these buckets just actually have food grade written right on there. That's nice. But also you want to check on the bottom of your bucket, there's a recycled triangle right there that tells you the material that this plastic is made out of. And this one is a number two HDPE. Now, there's a lot of websites online you can go to about the recycle code of the plastics that you can look at. There's different combinations and different numbers. Go and look at those websites. This one I, I happen to like to use mostly in my garden, number two HDPE, because it stands up in the weather a little bit better. And we'll go back into that later on in the video on how to store them and everything. But these will tolerate the sunlight a little better than um, the other ones. So that's why I use these. Now, a lot of folks always ask me, do you have to have a hole in it. Yes, of course, you have to have a hole in all your buckets. They don't come with a hole, of course, but I usually drill five or six holes in the bottom of the bucket. And um, I use just a plain old pattern. S similar to, uh, I, I, this is the pattern I use for the two gallon as well as the five. And as you can see, There's six holes in there. I spread them out evenly, and folks always ask me, oh, doesn't the, uh, doesn't, don't you have a problem with the soil falling out through the bottom of the hole? No, I don't. The uh, amount of soil loss through the bottom of these holes is negligible. I, I, I mean, I couldn't even get a handful of if I tried. The reason for that is, is when I use my container mix, it has peat mixed in with it. And when I when that peat and all that's incorporated with my container soil and I put it in this bucket, when it gets wet, that peat will definitely um, clog up these holes to the point where it just drips out. And, uh, and the, the soil doesn't fall out every time. It The first couple of waterings you might get a little bit of soil come through but after that it pretty much stops so you don't have to worry about the soil falling through the bottom of the bucket and um, 
let me demonstrate how I get these holes in here because if you're not careful, you'll break the bottom of the bucket and shatter it. So let's, let's check out how we put the holes in here. Okay, here's a two gallon bucket and here's the drill that I'm using. And the bit that I use is a three quarter inch paddle bit. Okay, three quarter inch. And that seems to be about the perfect size as far as, as my experience has gone, three quarter inch. And I also set my drill on reverse. So that bit is turning in reverse. If I have it when I'm in the forward, where it's drilling, um, the bit is turning clockwise, it tends to grab the edges of the bucket and it'll rip that bucket and you know create a big old hole in it. It could even just ruin the bucket. But if you put it in reverse and you put it in nice and slow, you start right in the middle and I put just a little bit of pressure and I kind of shoot um, shots of um, power to the drill instead of just holding it wide open. So let's, let's do the first hole and let me show you what it does. Hear how I'm shooting the power to it? It goes right through and it makes a nice hole without breaking the bucket. And then I just do the same thing. bucket done just right and I didn't break the bucket anywhere that putting it in reverse is definitely the tip of the day right there okay okay let me get the rest of my uh, uh, buckets drilled as you can see I have quite a few to do but uh, you know it doesn't take very long if you do it the way I showed you so um, let me get these um, drilled and then we'll head over and I'll show you how I store my containers to try to get as much life out of them as I can. There we go. Got a whole bunch of new uh, containers ready for this year's growing season. And uh, this is where I store my containers when they're not in use. And this is what extends the life of these things if you'll just do this. What I did is I picked out a shady area and right now there's a little bit of sun coming through here because it's very early in the morning and the sun's coming underneath the tree canopy. But in about another hour or so that, that sun's going to be on up and um, the tree canopy right here completely shades this area. So the first thing you want to do is find yourself an area that's totally shaded um, if possible all day. In my case I get two hours or so of sunshine in the morning, then the rest of the day is all shade. Now, there's nothing fancy about this. All I did was get a bunch of pallets and throw them on the ground, and I stacked my containers out here so they're not sitting in direct sunlight. They're in the shade, and uh, if you don't have anything that's got enough shade on it, just get you one of them cheap tarps at, uh, at Lowe's or somewhere and just put a tarp over them just to keep the sunlight off them because if you can keep the sunlight off they're going to last a lot longer. Like I said earlier these these containers right here are six years old and I still have several and they they just started to become brittle this year from being you know used so much so as soon as they get to where they're no longer useful for me then you know i discard them and i have to replenish and that's that's what i did this year i uh, got 30 new uh five gallons and uh 20 more of the uh two gallon so I, i'm pretty set now if you don't have um 
uh, anywhere to buy these things anywhere close to you. You can also go to like bakeries and they'll give you these uh, two gallon and five gallon buckets that had icing in it. All you have to do is clean them out and that's that had a food product in it. So it's basically safe to grow vegetables in. So anything, any kind of container you get from somewhere, as long as it had food stored in it, then you're pretty good. You don't really have to worry. Again, you can always check the bottom and look at that recycle code and check it online to make sure that you are in accordance with something that is food safe. So always check that. You can also go to delis. They have like big old pickle buckets where they get pickles in them. They give you them too. So there's you a free source of containers that you can use in your garden that are food uh, safe for food. So check those two out. And this is the um, uh, the arrangement that I made to store my containers. We have a, a little video that we did a few years back when we first moved down to Florida on our uh, container storage area. You might want to check that out if you want to. Uh, it shows you how we um, set this up. No big deal, but anyone can do it. So anyway, I hope that what this little video brought to you today was a little bit of uh, knowledge about um, how to get that bucket ready to plant something in it this year and uh, where to get them and how to store them. So we thank you for watching. I hope our video helped you, brought a smile to your face and some joy to your heart. So until me and Nancy and Bing Bing, see you soon. Always remember. By his hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day.